In this video we're going to show you how to make your own computer cable using Cat5 or Cat5e. To complete this task you're going to need a minimum of three items. Of course a piece of Cat5 or a piece of Cat5e. You're going to need the RJ45 plug and you're going to need a special tool that strips the wire and helps you crimp the plug. Now Cat5 and Cat5e, they're the same thing with one exception. Cat5e has more twists in the conductors per foot compared to Cat5. More twists equates to faster data transmission rates. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to strip the blue jacket off the Cat5 wire. With the tool in my right hand, if you look right in here, there's a special cutting blade that allows you to properly seat the wire into the tool and that blade is going to cut the jacket, the blue jacket, at the proper length. Two clicks, 360 degree twist, pull. That's the proper length to strip the blue jacket. The reason that's the proper length to strip the jacket, if you look at the RJ45 plug in my right hand, when the wires are pushed up into the jack, what happens is the blue jacket is pushed up into the jack. And when you crimp down, the plug snugly grabs down on the blue jacket. Technically, it's the correct way to do it. However, for illustration purposes on this video, I decided to strip the jacket way back so I can show you the process a little more clearly. There's a string that's in here. This is used only as a rip cord to open up the blue jacket farther. I'm going to snip that away because it usually gets in the way. There are two generally accepted standards for doing this. One's the 568A standard, the other is the 568B standard. Today I'm going to demonstrate the 568A standard because I believe it's the most common standard. Afterward, I'll just explain how to do the 568B standard because it's a real, real simple switch. Next thing we want to do is put the wires into the correct order. Starting from the left to the right, we have the green, white, green, followed by the green. Then we're going to move that solid orange over there and bring the orange white orange over followed by the blue and then the blue white blue followed by the solid orange then the brown white brown followed by the brown now I'm gonna clean this up and with the tab pointed down away from me slip the wire into it kinda of wiggle it. it should go right up in there and it looks like it did you want to inspect the plug to make sure that all eight wires fully seated. You can look at the top to make sure the correct color coded wire landed in the correct pin and they have and then you can look at the end and see that the wire seated itself all the way to the end of the RJ45 plug and it has. So I press it up in there one more time take my crimping tool, seat it in the RJ45 seat, push it all the way in, done. If you want to do this in the 568B standard, all you do is swap the positions of the orange and the green pair. It's as simple as that. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you happen to know anybody who might benefit from this information, Share a link to our YouTube channel. Visit our website. There are hundreds of articles there on all types of home electronics. We appreciate you watching. We hope you have a great day. Thanks.